Guys, today is not Hooper's birthday, but I'm pretending it's his birthday today. Hey, hey, hey. You guys sent me a little bit of money in it. Uh, I uh, feel like uh, spreading that on to uh, Hoop Dog. So I'm about to uh, head to the store and let's see, what should I get him? I'm getting him some dog toys and a dog bed. I'm going to try to build him a little kick it area under the window in the cabin and i'm gonna get him a little bit better dog food i accidentally got him adult dog food he's been eating it but i'm just gonna get him some puppy food all right i got hoop man this uh this big bed they they had uh two two different sizes and the other one was too small so got him this big one and he'll grow into it just a big fluffy pillow Got him some puppy chow. Uh, the dude on the on the freaking bag looks like like bro. So <laughs> uh, that uh, okay. I got some slides <laughs> finally, so I don't have to walk around barefoot in the middle of the night when I'm chasing him around while he's finding a spot to poop. Got him this little toy. He's he's liking it. He's liking it a lot. Got him this little toy. He hasn't tried that one out yet. And I got him some real dog bowls i have been <laughs> oh man i've been just feeding them out of uh bottoms of water bottles i also got myself some corn nuts but dude that's a happy pup now yeah buddy <laughs> yeah yeah buddy Looks like Hoop Dog's liking his new toy. This upside down tote will work for now. I wanna wait till I get my bed in here so I know how much room I have and then build him a little staircase. All right, I think I am gonna build Hoop a little dog house. Like uh, right here. The uh, first level will have to be elevated a little bit cause water is gonna be running off of that. And then I'm also gonna make it two stories. So he has a little, uh, uh, balcony type deal on top that he can hang out on and uh, I don't I don't know how big I'll make that or when I'll make that honestly that might be a project for a little later uh, but that's the plan with the doghouse I won't go on top of the roof I, I went through your guys' uh, comments and so I'm just answering a couple of those real quick um, solar panels uh, someone suggested I don't know what they suggested but they suggested not on the roof of the crack of the cabin and yeah i'm probably only gonna run my one little solar panel sheet with my jackery into the cabin oh actually i need one big power bank in the cabin with one solar panel that um will power the starlink in there and charge my phone and whatnot and then i'm thinking of building that shed right up here Maybe even shed slash bathroom and then cover in the whole roof with solar panels and have a section of power banks, inverters, ching pow, all that fun stuff. Um, or just build a whole separate platform for all the solar panels. Hoop dog for the Starlink. Um, I'm gonna, I have not figured out my plan for that. I obviously, I want it up here by the cabin. Right now, it's down by the bus because that's the only spot with a uh, good enough clearing to get a signal from it. So I have a few options here. Here's the cabin. The, okay, the router has to be inside. But satellite can be wherever. I think the cord's maybe 50 feet long. Option one is I could climb this tree like 30 feet, cut it, place it on top, run the cord down the tree, Along here and into the cabin. Dang, I need to make a hole to put a bunch of wires through. Maybe I can get them through that vent that I'm getting. We will see about that. This one's a little sketchy, but it actually would have better reception. Because even on this one, I got this tree in the way and a few uh, trees still in the way. You would think that that would be good, but I don't think it is. The other option is cutting this tree across the way. Same, like 30, 40 feet up, putting it up there, running the cord above the creek 
to this tree and down i'd have to get an extension cord for that probably that would be another idea and i think the last option which i think is the best option is buy a few extension cords i don't know i think you need to get the it's like starlink extension cords for it to work i don't actually i haven't looked into how much those cost but i think i could keep the satellite down by the bus and run the cord all the way from the bus up to here and i think that would work i think also if i have enough power then i can plug in wi-fi boosters have the router wherever i could even have it in the bus and just boost the wi-fi up here uh gosh i gotta go get hooper there he goes he's probably hungry going to the bus all right i'm gonna go get him but um yeah those are my options with the starlink i, don't, I haven't decided yet loft bed was a cool idea i've been seeing it would be a little bit warmer heat does rise i learned that in high school <laughs> uh it would give me uh, more room to store stuff underneath. So that's cool. Here's some of the cons I'm thinking about. It would be tougher to get up into bed, tougher to get Hooper up into bed, tougher to let Hooper down, tougher to get down, tougher to stoke the fire at night. You know, you know what I'm saying? Also, another con, I wanted to just put my cot in there and I don't think I could I mean I could elevate the cot maybe but it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be that efficient actually I would probably have to build a little loft bed and then I wouldn't really have a use for the cot that's fine though that would be fine um, or I what do you guys think about just putting my bed and then at, at the height where I'm sitting on the bed, because I use the bed as a couch also. So when I'm sitting on it, right above my head, I build a loft to store stuff as opposed to storing stuff under where I sleep. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. I think, I think I saw somebody say it'd be cool to move the bus closer to the cabin. And that absolutely would be true. I would totally use this for all my storage, actually. But uh, it's um not movable uh those are the wheels they are buried and there's not actually any wheels well there's no tires uh i it's buried basically it's buried definitely not drivable uh can't tow it so that would be cool I, I really got to figure out how to pimp out this bus. I think I got to cover all the windows with carpet. Old carpet I can get for cheap. And uh, I don't know. It's also tough because all the firewood is over by the cabin. So if I'm storing firewood in here, I'm bringing logs down here and chopping it up. Or chopping up wood up there, storing it here. And then bringing it back up there. And it's about 200, uh, I don't know, it's like 100 yards. 100 yard walk. I could do, the, I think I'm going to do the music studio in here. But there's not the best sound in here either. But the cabin's a little small for a music studio. And so I think I do want to do the music studio in the bus. And then... I guess I could do storage in here. I could store gasoline and propane and all that fun stuff. Hmm. Decisions to make and not a lot of time to make those decisions. Uh, okay. So I've had skylight suggested and that's something I've thought about. I'm going to pair, pair up skylight and awning because listen to this guys. I was thinking... I was thinking this, if I do that awning over the porch, then um, it's going to be covering my only window. 
So, that would be tough. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like an awning just over the, the left side over where the door is so that snow isn't uh isn't packing up right at the door but a big awning would be cool and i would be okay with doing a bigger awning i'd be cool with doing a bigger awning over all of it if i had a skylight but should i do a skylight guys is that uh too risky because I'd have to engineer it real good. Do you guys think I'm capable of doing that? Making a skylight so that uh, no water gets in and it works out. It's still strong. Because I wasn't going to do a skylight until the awning situation. And now I'm seriously considering it. I think big awning skylight combo would be money. Or should I just do no skylight figure out an awning that doesn't really block the sun from going in that that one window in the front all right i'm sorry you had to watch me think that one through that was a rough one <laughs> but because i also uh figured out what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do a clear corrugated roof right there but now i just have one question should i make the awning slant down over the front of the porch or should i just have it match the pitch of the roof that's the question I'm wondering. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hoop dog. It's getting to just about 30 degrees at night right now. And it feels a little bit cold. And the issue with that is it's going to be negative 10 this winter. So I don't know why I wrote down temperature in my notes. I think that was what I was going to say. I don't remember actually. And the last thing is that agency I signed with, I saw a couple people, or I didn't sign with him. I, didn't, I haven't signed nothing yet. I saw a couple people uh, worried uh, about me, uh, like, getting into a contract that wouldn't be good. But uh, whatever contract I'm signing, it's not going to be, um, like, a uh, du time duration uh, contract. Like, I'm allowed to stop doing deals with them whenever i want it's only going to be for the products from the companies that they find me they're not taking a cut of of anything else except for the stuff they bring to me and uh yeah that 10 percent is just of that and can stop whenever i want so there's no need to worry about that guys appreciate it i think that's all the questions i had uh written down Right the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I really didn't looking out for bears, cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.